Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my RST3 Mega Park. In the last episode, um, I built this monster truck right here called uh, Dinosaur Safari. Now, quite happy with uh, how this area is coming along. And in this episode, I want to expand this area. So, uh, well, we have this path over here. I think I'll extend this path to somewhere over here. And I'll make a bit of a split in the path. Because, um, yeah, um, I obviously want this path to continue after this area, so we'll have to uh, figure a way how to uh, how to continue on this path. Now, um, something I also want in this area is uh, some uh, some food shops. Um, yeah, we probably need uh, those here, and yeah, probably also want to make a little uh, tower here or just a bit of an entrance for this dinosaur area. And um, yeah, I think it's uh, time we add another uh, water ride. Now we already have a few water rides over here. I think uh, we can fit another one over here. And the ride that I really want to add here is a splash boat ride. Now um, you can actually uh, put more elements on a splash boat ride than you could in the original uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Or Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now you also have access to uh, diagonal track elements, etc. etc. And that should definitely help us uh, create the layout, uh, or a la nice layout for this uh, area. Alright, um, I will first uh, start working a bit on the path layout here, and on uh, the entrance for this area. Then after that I'll uh, work on making some shops in this area. Right, I've made a little gate here for the area. So uh, yeah, the path just continues on here in the middle. Then I made these two uh, towers next to it. One of them has some dinosaur eggs on top, and the other has this uh, pteranodon on top. I also made a little roof over it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I kind of like this uh, as the uh, entrance for the for the dinosaur area. I think it works uh, pretty well. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, yeah, find a way to add some nice uh, shops uh, or some uh, food stalls uh, into this area. Because the guests were actually quite complaining that they were uh, quite thirsty. Or maybe it was the park inspector who told me. But yeah, that's uh, probably something to keep an eye out for.
think that's looking pretty sweet. I first had the building placed a little bit too low, but uh, right now it should be uh, alright. Okay, something I'm noticing is that the guests are making a huge mess over here. Uh, well, there's a handyman now, but I keep seeing them drop stuff here. So I'll uh, add some uh, litter bins and some benches and stuff uh, as well. And some plants next to the path. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, work a little bit on that. And after that, um, I think it's time I add the uh, splash pouch right over here in this area. Um, in Rulikash Tycoon 2 you can also place uh, splash boats right, of course they're, they're fairly limited uh, as you can, in that game you can only do wide turns, you cannot do diagonal sections but RST3 uh, does all those things right, um, here you can see, I can actually uh, start a diagonal uh, section here, so yeah, that's, uh, I think that's really cool, this will definitely help me make a nice layout, I also can do really tight turns which uh, will also help. So I'm um, just going to play around a bit with it now. Alright, I'm uh, really happy with the way this layout turned out. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I uh, really like this diagonal uh, lift hill for this uh, for this ride, and then with the drop finally dropping under the lift hill. And uh, it, I did want to have one of those uh, water uh, dinosaurs uh, in the water right next to it. I think that uh, looks pretty cool, and that still makes it uh, tie into the dinosaur theme over here. Hey, um. I'm just going to uh, make a station building for this ride and also uh, actually a path to, towards the entrance. So also I guess of course won't be able to uh, actually get in the ride. So yeah, uh, just going to be busy with that for now.
that I'm quite happy with the way this uh, station looks. We can actually take a little peek inside if we want. I think uh, it's a nice station for this uh, for this coaster. Although I'm not sure why this path here is interrupted. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't foresee this. So probably this path here needs to be a little bit higher. Um, it doesn't seem to be actually connected. Uh, so that's probably why guests are not able to enter it uh, right now. Probably a good thing I uh, checked inside. <laughs> Since we have some more uh, space here, I think uh, we can fit a dinosaur flat right here. Uh, I believe there was one uh, especially dinosaur themed area in these uh, flat rides, so I'm just going to quickly look for it. And with that, I think I've added enough to the park for uh, this episode. So, uh, just as a recap, I uh, made this little entrance for this area. Um, I made some shops and stalls. Then I added the splash boats right, which sits over here. It's called Dino Splash. And then finally, this little uh, dinosaur go around right, with a little volcano in the middle. Alright, I think uh, to end this episode it will be nice if we take a ride on the splash boat ride. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again on the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.